Hello everyone, welcome to another Quick Tips in Excel. My name is Alejandra Horvat and today I'm going to show you how I add values from a range based on two different criteria. We were going to use the function unique and sort, which is available, are available in Excel 2021, Excel for the web and Microsoft 365. Also, we're going to use the function sum if s, which is available from 2013 and uh, 2016 for Mac. Without further ado, let me unhide these columns from H to K. You can see on my left that I have a range of information which has the department, the account code, the province, the year, and the amount. Uh, we start on cell B2. I'm going to press Ctrl Shift and roll down to go to the end of this range. And we can see that I have up to row 11,234. Well, I'm going to go back to the top. And the first thing that I want to do is to get which are the unique departments. Here on the uh, column H under department, I'm going to start typing equal unique. And I can uh, look for unique and press the tab uh, key. I need to get the array. The array will come from my column B. I'm going to start from B3, Control Shift down to select the whole content, close parentheses, enter. Here I have only five unique departments, and I want to have this sorted in ascending order. So I'm going to press F2 to edit my function here. I'm going to type after the equal sort, open parentheses. I need to provide the array. The array will be the result of my function unique, which is this list of five different departments. I don't, uh, I don't need to sort by index or by order. This function sorts in ascending order for default, and that is what I want. I have only one column, and that is the only column that I want to sort by. For that reason, I'm not going to provide any information on the sort index either, and I, neither for the by call. I'm going to go to the end of the, my function, close parenthesis, end. Now I have my department sorted in ascending order. Let's start adding this information by department and by province. So here on cell I3, I'm going to say equal um, sum if s. If I had only one criteria, then I could use sum if. But because I have more than one, that's why I'm using sum if s. So I open parentheses and I'm going to select my sum range. What, where are the amounts that I want to add? So I start in F3, Control Shift down to select the whole range that goes up to, as I said, 11,234, uh, comma, Control backspace to get back to my active cell. And from there, I need to select where is my uh, the range with the first criteria. That is going to be my department. So I'm going to select from cell B3, Control Shift down to select all that range, comma, Control backspace to get back to my active cell. And what is my first criteria? That is going to be the department. Where I'm going to select all the departments. Because I'm working with Microsoft 365, I'm working with dynamic arrays. So I can grab all that information. And you can see that Excel didn't select the whole range. It just refers to cell H3 and adds the hashtag. And it's because it's recognizing that is the result of a dynamic array. And that's why it's adding the hashtag. So after that, I'm going to say comma. The next argument is the criteria range 2. Where is the range that I'm going to look for? the second criteria. So I'm going to select from cell D3, Control Shift down to select all that column or the content of the column, uh, comma. What is the criteria number two? Well, that is going to be the province. The province is part of the title. So I'm going to just move my arrow once. Uh, you cannot see it because we are editing this function here, <laughs> but um, by moving just my arrow up, you can see that now I have I2 here as part of this function. So I'm going to close parentheses. I'm going to press enter. And here we have the result or the totals by department and by province one. So I want to copy this information to the next columns. And to do that first, I'm going to lock some of the ranges that I have here. For example, I have all this range, which goes to F3 to F1, 11,234. So I'm going to press F4. And by doing this, I can lock that um, range. 
So when I copy over to the other columns, this range won't move. And I'm also going to do that with the uh, result on H3, because I don't want that, that moves either. So just very quickly with the F4 as well, and enter. I2, I leave it as is, because that can move. It doesn't move from row, but it moves from column to column. So now that I have this done, I can just drag my function over here, and there we go. That quick and easy is how I get my totals per department and per province. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.